This is a mold full of gelatin, shaped like a brain. The red portion represents a blood clot. Researchers at Vanderbilt University are using the gelatin to test a robot equipped with a steerable needle designed to get to the clot and remove it without damaging the surrounding tissue. If surgery using this robot and the needle attachment works, it could save many lives. Vanderbilt engineering professor Robert Webster has a personal interest in the project's success. This was really compelling to me personally because my father actually had one of these a couple of years ago. Um, and at the time, uh, I, th there was no good treatments for him. Webster's father survived, but 40% of those who have this medical problem do not. That's because there's very little doctors can do for these patients, according to Dr. Kyle Weaver, a neurosurgeon who's working with Webster on this project. Oftentimes, based on the anatomy of the brain and the way the blood, it's, the blood vessels are configured and these disease processes, they're oftentimes deep down in the brain. And the, the thought is that getting those, the surgery is actually going to do more damage than the blood clot is on its own. The robot has a series of thin, flexible metal tubes controlled by a computer. Professor Webster says surgeons will be able to scan a patient's brain and the computer will then map the best route to the clot. The tubes will navigate around delicate brain matter, not through it. The researchers are trying to design tools that could attach to the robot, such as a tiny grasper, that could break up a clot before suctioning it out. The robot still has to go through trials and an approval process before it can be used in operating rooms. But the researchers hope that when it's ready, surgeons will be able to use it to save lives. Carol Pearson, VOA News.